What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the B-Link SEI 11 Pro. This is a compact mini PC running full Windows 11 Professional. It features upgradable RAM and storage. You've got dual 4K display output. It's powered by an 11th gen Tiger Lake Intel Core i5 processor. All right, so let's quickly check out the specs. So this mini PC is powered by the Intel Core i5 11320H. So that is a quad core with a clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz and a turbo speed of up to 4.5 gigahertz. We've got integrated graphics with the Intel Iris Plus 655. We've got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM that is upgradable to 64 gigs max. We've got a 512 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD installed, and that can be swapped out for a two terabyte max. You can also add an additional two and a half inch SATA hard drive, and that supports a maximum of two terabytes. This mini PC features Wi-Fi 6, gigabit LAN, Bluetooth version 5, and comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Professional. You've got dual heat pipes, dual cooling fans, and it supports 4K at 60 FPS. Now, first of all, inside the box, you will find. So we have a user manual. We've got a metal mount or bracket and some screws to go with it. And this will allow you to very neatly hide your mini PC at the back of your monitor. Now there is a ribbon cable included and that looks like it's going to be to attach a hard drive. A short and long HDMI cable included, power supply and I'll give you a close up of the voltage information. And last but certainly not least, the mini PC itself. So here it is, B-Link SEI 11 Pro. So you do have a metal mesh grill at the top and the sides. So that's going to be for good ventilation. Um, and the rest of the body is actually made from metal including the base. So really nice design, feels super premium. B-Link Intel logos, and you've got the Intel Core i5 sticker on the side. At the front, you can see a clear CMOS reset hole, two USB 3 ports, a USB Type-C port, headphone jack, and a physical power button. On the side, we have nothing. And at the back of the unit, we have ventilation at the top, a gigabit LAN, two USB 2 ports, and you've got two HDMI ports supporting 4K display output, power socket, and if we keep going, nothing on this side, and that brings us back to the front. And this is what the bottom of the box looks like. All right, so let's quickly check out the internals. So we've got four screws to open. So as you remove the bottom cover, please be aware, there is a ribbon cable attached, and that is the same ribbon cable we've been given in the box. So that's a spare. Um, it's almost like B-Link expects you to snap that, so they give you a spare just in case. So over here, you can add a two and a half inch SATA drive up to two terabytes secure it in place with some screws and the ribbon cable is already attached for you. Now, if we have a look at the RAM, first of all, it's DDR4 RAM. We've got two slots and they are both occupied with eight gigs of RAM, giving us a total of 16 gigs, but you could swap these out for 32 gigs per slot. So that's a maximum of 64 gigs of RAM. And this is a 512 Kingston. It is an M.2 NVMe 2280. Full Windows installation is on this drive. So you can swap this out for a bigger drive. It supports up to two terabytes max, but if you do swap it out, you then need to reinstall Windows yourself. So that's what I really like about B-Link. Um, they've made it really easy for you guys to upgrade the internals. All right, so without any further ado, I'm gonna get this hooked up to my TV and capture card, and we're gonna find out exactly what this mini PC is capable of. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test, and this mini PC took exactly 43 seconds to fully load to the Windows desktop from a cold start. And this is Windows 11 Professional, offering you a full PC experience in a mini compact size. The system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications and games, comes with all your usual default Windows apps, and you also get the Windows App Store so you can download all your favorite games and apps. Now let's check out system properties. So as you can see, it's Windows 11 Professional with Core i5 11320H, with 16 gigs of RAM and 64-bit OS, which is already activated and ready to use. Now system storage info, we have 512 gigs of internal storage, from which 463 gigs are usable, and from that we have 428 gigs free to use. And the second drive you're seeing is my 64 gig flash drive containing all my 4K samples, which we are gonna be using in the next test. So let's play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and see how it performs. So first video, high bitrate 4K jellyfish demo, that's 160 megabits per second, 
and as you can see it's playing back nice and smooth. I also tested out the 180 megabits per second sample and you can see that also played back quite well and the real test 400 megabits per second you can see playing back super smooth. So no problem playing any of the high bitrate 4k samples on this mini PC. So next up we are checking out some 4k 60 with HDR. So all of these 4K samples I just tested worked absolutely fine including various HDR formats using the default media player. So I didn't even have to download any codecs to make this work. Alright so now it's time for some YouTube streaming and it does support 4K60 with HDR and the streaming quality and performance is top notch with no issues. So let's just go ahead and play a few trailers. Maybe I'm wrong. Rocky. My dad, this is built on their shoulders. Dad, I know you think I'm crazy. So next up, I tested Netflix from both app and web browser, and I'm pleased to say that Netflix 4K is supported. Furthermore, Amazon Prime Video was also able to stream at 4K HDR directly from the web browser. All right, so moving on to some gaming, and we're starting off with Asphalt 9, which I downloaded from the Windows App Store. So next game we are playing is GTA 5. Resolution is set to 1080p with graphics set to normal. And as you can see, we're achieving around 15 frames per second with the TDP at around 32 watts. So not exactly groundbreaking performance. It does play, but 15 frames per second is too less for this game at 1080p. So I had to drop the resolution down to 720p 50 hertz. I kept the graphics on normal and now you can see slightly better frame rates at 25 frames per second, but still not entirely satisfied with the performance of this game. Now as GTA 5 did not do too well, I'm not expecting a more recent title to work at all, but no harm doing a quick test. So WWE 2K22 set to 1080p resolution, standard graphics with all enhancements off, and you can see the game is struggling at 30 frames per second, completely unplayable. So just to show you what happens, I tested PS3 emulation with Fight Night Champion on the default 720p Vulcan backend and we are of course using RPCS3. We're achieving around 30 frames per second with the TDP peaking at around 35 watts. The game does run quite sluggish as you can see so not a great experience at all with PS3 emulation. Now I did have a much better experience with PS2 using PSSX2 and I was still able to upgrade the resolution to 3x with Vulcan backend and you can see Liberty City Stories playing pretty well with the frame rates reaching around 50 FPS. So that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench single core score of 1502 and multi core score of 4778. And in the Antutu benchmark test we achieved 659k. And finally, CPU benchmark score by Passmark, and we have a total score of just over 11,000. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing mini PC chart for 2023, allowing you to compare the specs, prices and features of all the latest, most recent mini PCs. Ranking is based on overall benchmark scores. So looking at Antutu, Geekbench and Passmark, I give it an average and then the mini PC gets ranked accordingly. So as you guys can see, the B-Link SEI 11 Pro takes position 9 on this chart. And also quickly mention, you can view all my latest charts online and free of charge at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the B-Link SEI 11 Pro. So another premium B-Link mini PC offering an overall high quality design and build. A major plus point of this one is the ability to upgrade the RAM and the SSD and you can also add an additional two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Performance is pretty good for everyday tasks like general web browsing, office applications, coding, graphics, and even light 1080p video editing works well. 
This is a nice, affordable mini PC for school, college, uni. It takes up minimal space. It has a built-in cooling fan, so great performance throughout and no overheating issues. Processor is quite powerful, but slightly let down by the integrated Intel graphics. So don't expect to play AAA games on this mini PC. Casual games like Asphalt, Candy Crush, Roblox will work absolutely fine. This thing is also pretty good for 4K streaming, plays all video formats, including HDR right out of the box. Windows 11 Professional comes pre-installed and activated, ready to use, which is great. This does support dual HDMI display output at 4K 60. The Type-C port on the front does not support display out. It is USB 3 standard. For the price, overall, this is not a bad mini PC. But if you're going to need a better gaming performance, then you're certainly going to be spending a lot more money. With all that being said, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.